what's up what's up everyone welcome back to the channel in this video i want to give you some secret sauce on how i mounted my moving head fixtures to the base plates that actually get put on top of truss and this is a must do if you're a dj and you're using movers of any kind large or small and you're putting them on top of truss towers you're using totems whatever you want to call them this is a practice that is really really important because i see a lot of djs using moving heads but not securing the moving heads to the plates on top of trusses and having them permanently mounted like that and there's a whole universe of reasons why i think this is super important first and foremost i think it's a safety thing and i think having units mounted to your base plates makes it so much better when it's permanent and it can't be taken off easily. I see a lot of people using bungee cords and tie downs and straps, securing their moving heads to the tops of towers. And if anything ever was to happen, if anyone was to ever hit into a tower where that moving head fixture was ever to fall off of that tower, you are opening yourself, your business, and your brand up to some insane liabilities and potential issues from a legal perspective if someone was to get hurt. So for that reason alone, I think it's super smart to do this. Not to mention keeping your gear in a place and in a way that will make sure it's always functioning right. I think every time you take something off and then you put it back up and you're always securing stuff, you open yourself up to potential problems with gear, maybe not lasting its true lifespan of potential opportunity. Now I want to walk you through the five or six steps that we took here. Bird, my ninja here at SCE, and I went through to mount these new movers that I just got and I'm so excited about to the plates that we use to secure them to the tops of trusses. So first and foremost, I want to say this before I even get started. If you're interested in information on base plates or any of the components that I'm going to reference here, and it's something that you can just buy, I'm going to put some links in the description field of this video so you have a resource and a go-to so you can see exactly the equipment and the stuff that we use to make this possible. Now I'm going to share some footage of when we mounted all of these movers to the base plates and how we did it step by step. First and foremost, you have to unpack your fixtures. So we spent some time pulling the fixtures out of the boxes. We went through an auto test to make sure that they were completely functioning okay. And out of the six new units that I just got, one had some issues. So we're working with that. And I think it's an important step whenever you're unpacking, unboxing, and just bringing new equipment into your portfolio that you test it before you really start ripping it apart and doing all the stuff that you need to mod it to use it at your events. After you unpack the box, the next step is to make sure that you have all the components you need to make sure you are good to go when you get to the next kind of number of steps. And that means in this case, we had to buy locking bolts that fit this fixture with the base plate attached, which are very different than the locking bolts that come with the fixture because they are meant to use with a bracket and it adds a significant amount of space to it. So we got some new locking bolts and I have a link in the bio, as well as we've got a couple of large half inch washers that will allow the locking bolts to go through them and will secure the actual fixture to the base plate without any wiggle room. So it'll hold it nice and secure so that if you ever need to pull it off, it's not going to go anywhere. After you have all of your components to make this work, you go to the next step, and that's when you strip down the feet and anything else that is on the bottom of your light fixture, just like you see in this video clip where we remove the actual safety harness because we're not going to be using these fixtures upside down. We remove the rubber feet. We remove the extra screws. Anything and everything that is on the bottom of this unit has to come off because we want this unit to sit flush on top of the base plate and as you can see in this video we're pulling off a couple different things and just make sure it's completely flush so that we have a nice level fixture when it's on top of a base plate on top of a truss tower after we have everything removed we actually make a template of the bottom of the light so we know exactly where to cut the holes in the base plate that the moving head will be mounted to after you have a template you then take that template and you put it on the top of the base plate and you mark the base plate and you always double and triple check everything because you don't want to start cutting holes in things to realize that you're off after the fact. So after you set your template on top of the base plate, you maybe 
marked them, and then we measured it just to make sure that all of our measurements were proper, especially on the first one of the set that we are doing here in this process. After we marked and we checked our measurements, make sure that everything lines up with the bottom of the light fixture where the locking bolts are gonna need to go, we then go to the next step where we actually had to drill the base plates out and we actually got a new drill bit for this so that we can cut through this aluminum easily and it didn't destroy not only our arms doing it, but the drill that we were using as well. After we made sure that all of our markings and holes were proper, we then took our locking bolts, we fed it through, made sure it fit, and then we took four locking bolts that we're gonna use per base plate and per fixture. We added two washers per locking bolt. So we fed two washers on top of the locking bolt and then we took the moving head, sat it on top of the plate and we secured the base plate to the fixture with the locking bolts. So we had to use two small washers here in this instance to give us the spacing that was proper so that our moving head fixture wasn't going to move at all. So it kept it nice and secure to the top of this base plate or to the bottom of this base plate whenever we kind of had it moving forward. This all allows us to transport the light mounted to the base plate, it's secure, and we don't have to worry about anything moving forward. Doing all of this allows us to now have the fixture mounted to the base plate. We have four locking bolts with washers attached to the fixture by way of this base plate. And now anytime we transport these fixtures in the future, in the cases that we had made for these lights, the base plates will always be attached. Now, the reason why we're doing this is so that the fixtures itself have less wear and tear. We know that the fixtures are always gonna be mounted to the base plates. And one of the other incredibly important pros to doing this is it makes us that much faster when we set up as well as when we break down at an event. And I know I've talked about this a number of times, things that we do like powering our trusses and doing all of these little things, having cables that are connected and pre-run and, and everything kind of thought of before we get on site to an event allows us to be incredibly efficient. When you're efficient, you move faster on the setup, you also move faster on the breakdown, and all of that is incredibly important. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you took something from this video, and if you have any questions about how we ran through any of this, please throw it in the comments underneath this video. If you want the hookup on any of the stuff that we used, again, look for the links in the description field, and be on the lookout for more videos coming to this channel in the days, weeks, and months ahead. And real, real quick, if you haven't seen the truss hack that we've come up with here and now use for well over 10 years at SCE, I'm gonna put it in a video right over here. I want you to check it out and uh, click into it. Make sure that you're doing that with your trusses. If you're using trusses, you have to do that too. Anyway, check it out and be on the lookout for more content coming right here to the channel in the days, weeks, and the months ahead. Thanks for watching.